this is Jim Lakey with news announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas, here on Cable Channel 3, and also on Sandy Land Center's Automark on our website. Today is uh, Tuesday, it's the 3rd of January. And of course, remember, it's now 2017 if you're writing a check. And uh, here it is, it's uh, 25 degrees here in the square at noon time. And uh, we're having a sunny and windy day today, but it's going to be cold for the next several days. The high temperature today is uh, predicted for uh, 32, the low temperature 15 tonight. And that's bad enough, but it gets worse. On uh, Wednesday, partly cloudy, <clears throat> the high temperature only 29, and 12 the low temperature. Then on uh, Thursday, cloudy, 21 the high temperature, and 9 the low temperature. So there you are. That'll be the coldest day, hopefully, for the week. And then going back up the ladder, uh, Friday will be... Uh, Cloudy to start with and get sunny as it goes on. 29 the high and 13 the low. And then on uh, Saturday, it will get above freezing. Uh, 37 will be the high and uh, 16 the low. And on Sunday, 40 will be the high in a sunny day. And uh, 24 will be the low. So it looks like we are in the middle of winter right now, as far as all of the weather forecasts uh, go. Uh, we want to point out that uh, the Sunflower Center is uh, having a special invitation program that goes extremely well with the weather, and that's that... Uh, on uh, certain days, uh, I guess any time, uh, but uh, between 1.30 and 2 o'clock, Monday through Thursday, uh, they're having an activity called Come Walk With Me. And so from 1.30 to 2, they're going to be walking around the uh, roller skating rink. And it's a good way to exercise, particularly for us seniors, we need exercise. But it's not a good idea to be out walking in the, in the freezing weather or in a place where we might uh, find something to trip on and fall down. So here's a perfectly safe place to walk and you'll have uh, companions there and, uh, and so they'll be, uh, and they, they have a note that they allow walkers and the canes on the floor. So uh, come walk with us at the, uh, at the Sunflower Center uh, most every day during the middle of the week. Now, we have activities of the uh, Recreation Commission. <coughs> and next Tuesday the 10th, uh, they're having Women's Day Out at Hutchinson Mall. And they're going shopping and have a pedicure if you want one. And they leave it at 9. And so they have from 10 to 12 at the mall. They're having lunch at the China Star at 12.20. And uh, maybe stopping at Smith's Market before returning to St. John. And uh, the cost is uh, $7 for the transportation and other things are whatever it is that you have done or spend. Uh, then <coughs> they've had requests to go back to the family food store in Sawyer, Kansas. So on uh, Thursday the 19th, uh, they'll be doing that, going to Sawyer. And they have bulk foods and grocery and homemade foods and a family atmosphere. And it's a, a, an interesting place to watch in, Saturday, in, uh, in Sawyer because it's a very small town. And uh, other than the elevator, there isn't much there except this really great family food store. So uh, they leave at 1045. And uh, they're going to stop at Simply Southwest in Pratt on the way back to St. John. Uh, and the cost is $7. <coughs> and 
then a Saturday there's a plan, but it's not finalized, and uh, they're having movie night on Saturday the 28th. And the movie night is somewhere with some movie, because we don't know where the movie is that people want to see, and they don't know uh, where the movie is or what the movie is, because those haven't been announced yet. So as soon as we find out about that, uh, we'll be putting those in the news here on, on uh, the Shepherd Center on Channel 3 to tell you. But you can plan on a movie night on the 28th of January if you want. And uh, you can call us if you miss it in the news to find out what it is. And as soon as we know, we'd be able to tell you. Then. We have our, our uh, fellowship meal menu at the Sunflowers. Today they're having mixed vegetables with lasagna and tossed green salad. Uh, tomorrow they're having breaded pork cutlet and mashed potatoes with pork gravy. Uh, Thursday, baked fish with rice pilaf. And Friday, oven fried chicken and uh, boiled potatoes with uh, chicken gravy and carrots on Friday. And uh, then I have a, a special uh, kind of editorial or comment to explain some things. And the city has a program now where uh, <coughs> I'm a brothers, and it's just for uh, the, uh, the residentials. The commercial ones haven't made a change. But the residential one is going to go up in cost uh, to $20 for Andra Brothers and an extra dollar and a quarter to the city for making out the bills. So the trash change is going to cost uh, $21.25 on your city bill. And there's no change for the commercial ones. And their plan is uh, they're putting uh, trash totes out at every customer that's residential. And, uh, and it's a special one that they like. And if you already have uh, bought one from them, then uh, if you return the new one, uh, they'll pay you $75. If you return uh, an older one, because it's used, it'll be $37.50. However, they haven't really decided what to do if you have a perfectly acceptable trash code already, and uh, they're going to take that up at City Council tonight, and I know I deliberately several years back went out to get the best, best trash tote I could find because with the Kansas winds, uh, the tops and things are always blowing off. And I'm wondering why do I have to have a new trash tote from UNRWA? And not so much that I, you know, object to having a, a trash tote from them, uh, but I object to what am I going to do with two trash coats in my limited space to put things like trash totes in the shed. And they're going to cover that. Uh, they'll uh, take that up at the city council meeting. And any other questions that you have, uh, if you get this in time, uh, bring them up at the city council meeting or go to city hall and uh, ask them what your question is or your suggestion, and uh, they will uh, take it up, and then they will call you back with the answer. Now, if you have other things that they don't normally pick up that are really too big or bulky for what they're supposed to do, uh, there is a special dumpster behind the power plant, and, uh, and you can go out there and uh, throw uh, most kinds of things into that that Either they don't pick up with trash, or it's too clumsy, or for whatever reason. Uh, I suppose you could even go out there and uh, dump uh, some trash there if, uh, if you just didn't get your trash out in the morning and you want to take it in yourself. So it's behind the uh, power plant and it's by where 
Uh, the pens are for uh, the animals that uh, get collected, the cats and the dogs uh, that uh, have their pens out there uh, for when they uh, get caught by the city doing something wrong and they go out there until we can find what to do. So this is the new uh, trash business and uh, I know for us it's uh, a concern here at uh, the Shepherd Center and Channel 3 because one of our biggest advertisers on uh, Channel 3 was uh, the uh, trash company that we had before and now there's no such thing and uh, so that is uh, hurting us as a uh, Liable, as a viable organization to be able to continue uh, to run our TV station. But in any case, uh, that's all the news announcements for right now. The word of the day is people should judge you by your actions, not your intentions. You may have a heart of gold, but so does a hard-boiled egg. This is Jim Leckie, hoping you have a great January.